ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to another On Track Replay with your host, Great Taz. Now let's get this battle on the road. Three, two, one. All right, we're already rolling. Hello everyone, Great Taz here once again, and welcome back to another On Track Replay. Today we are watching T-80 SRB from the Freak Clan, playing the T-54 Lightweight. Now this caught my replay caught my attention for a particular reason, and in a minute you, you and when we get to it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But as you can see here, uh, we'll call him T-80, is going up over here towards the ridge, which is a, a, not a bad spot to start spotting, especially if you're not a super fast light tank uh, and you can't get to the bushes in E2. Now, see, the big difficulty in this battle is the simple fact that uh, the south side has a lot harder time getting to uh, E2 than the north side does. The north side can easily get to E2. Now, I don't know what his team's doing. I haven't seen any shots go firing, but they need to kill that. Uh, all right, there they go. There, oop, there. Now, he's got to get back because he's getting, yep, I thought that would be about right. Getting a little close to being spotted. All right, there comes that light tank. He has to take it out. Uh, they do have a good idea where he is. He just needs to peek. And he's going to take, at this point, he he's no longer an effective passive scout right now. He, so he has to take some shots to help take some of these tanks out. Now, the enemy team just straight out pushed. But his allies are not doing quite as much as they possibly could be. Now, the 703 does know he's up there. And the 703 definitely knows now he's dead. All right. He's going to just keep popping because at this point, they have an idea he's up there. And every time he moves up, he's going to get spotted because he, he couldn't. There's tanks in the way here to actually be able to uh, get spotting on him. Nice shot on the T-49 there. Uh, he's using that peak. He's just peeking over just enough. And once something uh, pops, he runs back away. All right. There already is... 100% uh, pushing on this side, it looks like. I mean, I've seen three already shots. He's, he's got to peek and take shots, but he's also spotting. The enemy's more worried about him, which which is a bad thing because if he's peeking and spotting, uh, he, he's actually doing a lot, causing a lot of issues. Well, that was a little late, but that's perfectly fine. That's no big deal. All right, look at all this. Spot, 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 spot. He's getting all kinds of spot damage here. And in reality, that is really good. Now, whether he'll be able to get back up on this ridge without being spotted, that's that's the question for um, a little bit. There, he did make that happen. He's going to try that again. So there's nothing close enough, but he's not taking the chance. Notice he's not taking the chance whatsoever. All right, now he, he realizes that he's in a pretty good position. There's nothing closer that's going to spot him. So he's going to sit here and keep things lit. Now his teammate, uh, Make a 91, which is in playing in T95, is, is moved up forward. All right. Now Tika doesn't have quite the, as good. All right. T49 is using the derp as we can, enemy T49, as we can see, as it comes over the hill and it takes out the AM5100. All right. So. Pretty much, there's not a lot yet still spotted. There's a couple on that were on the east side of the map or the zero line of the map. Uh, there is the 705 of the city right here. And then there is also uh, a Object 268, which is still currently invisible. As you can see, his teammate is now pushed up to the point where his teammate is going to take all the spotting. Right. But he is now moving on into a different location. Now this ball is, in this map, is good and bad. If you get spotted while you're in it, you're kind of really in a crappy position. But the problem is, is there's no way to uh, un keep yourself from being spotted, from 
the direction of the uh, E line, the zero line. Here comes the T49, chasing him. As you can see, there's the derp. He does get the derp off, but he turned around quick enough. Now, his best bet is to just continue to worry about that guy right there. One more shot, and the T49 will be dead. All right, he is peeking. T49, he knows that T49 is going to try something, and uh, I would be watching for it too, just like that. T49 never waited until he was unspotted to actually go back, and that was the T49's mistake right there. He should have waited till he knew and guaranteed that he was unspotted. All right, there's a 704. Ouch, there's Artie right in front of his face. Hasn't spotted it though, but with that 704, it's going to kind of be hard to spot. All right, now 704 is almost pretty much dead with a couple shots. There is a scorpion. He's going to take a shot at scorpion. Needs to do some damage also. All right. Oh, also on the ridge over there is the 268. It ran all the way back and went all the way back to the base and then back around to the back side. There's Artie. Artie is now dead. That's all spot damage. There's Artie. This Artie should be dead in a moment. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! That was a close one. All right. As you can see here, T80 still moving around, still getting that spot damage. And there, ladies and gentlemen, that right there would be a victory. Yep, that would be the end of the battle. And this makes for a pretty good looking layout of with the tank kind of partially hiding in the bushes. Now let's go ahead and run over to what replays.eu to see how they did. That's not the right. Put that back over there. Dumals. There we go. That's right. <laughs> I pulled up the wrong one. And go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Watt Replays. Daddy, you. Uh, as you can see, that was a pretty fast battle. We'll get to that in a minute. As you can see here, uh, T80 got Ace Tanker. That ace tanker came from 1,548 base experience. Got spotter, which was 1,000 hit points of spot damage and winning the battle. He got bruiser, duelist, fighter, fire for effect, six bonds, and those six bonds come from scout, which the most enemy tanks and self-propelled guns that anyone else on your team at least nine, so he spotted at least nine tanks. And uh, more than anybody else. Got Brothers in Arms, which means him and his partner got three kills apiece. And then Patrol Duty, uh, who helps their team at least the damage at least six tanks. Now, the biggest thing about this replay that I saw that really caught my attention when I was looking for uh, T-54 Lightweights to continue on with this was this statement right here. 10k spot damage and the enemy team just gave it to him and they basically did if you look right here go away 10,041 spot damage all right that is massive all right as you can see here right there about four kills didn't get high caliber didn't have enough damage now he was basically number two on overall damage but it still was not enough for high caliber because his teammate didn't even get it either, but his teammate got more than him. His platoon mate, I should say. I did fire 20 shots, 17 of them hit, only 12 did penetrate. Got 2,471 damage, 681 from over 300 meters. He spotted exactly 10, which gives him, uh, which, oh uh, yeah, there's one more than he needed. For Scout, I forgot what badge that was. Do, 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 do. All right, and enemy vehicles, damage. He damaged seven. He destroyed four. There's his damage with assistant, which was all spotting damage. 10,000 spotting damage or assist damage. Uh, you can't really 100% tell on here, but 
Uh, it was all spot damage. This is travel. It was with a premium account. So you got 58,000, another 50,000 plus some more. So his total basic income was 145,796. Again, what replays.eu does not read the premium stuff correct. After uh, all his uh, repairs, ammunitions, and resupplies, he still comes out with 126,000, and that's pretty good for a tree tank. A tier 9 tree tank at that. Received his 1,547. Again, this is not 100% correct. Should be 50% more. All right. Got personal reserves of another 1,100. Uh, mission payouts. Mission and personal actions payout. Got 9.2 more thousand. 300 more for playing in a platoon. So overall, should have gotten, let's see, what's this say? 13,144 experience. And if he does not have the T100 LT, that will definitely give him a helping boost right that general direction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you think T80 did a good job in this battle, and I hope you did, because I think, I mean, he showed a position that's not normally used, and it's basically a weaker position than the position from the north, which is E2, but it's still a pretty good position if you know how to use it, and T80 here just showed us how to do that. And if you think he did a good job, down in the description below is a link directly to this page right here that you see. All oh, it'll bring you here. You may have to sign in, which means you'll have, at the top, you'll have to sign in. It'll take you to Wargaming. It'll check your credentials to make sure you have a Wargaming an account and then it'll bring you back here and you'll have to fight then you have to click the link again unfortunately once you get signed in on the OS website it's a little weird setup but that's the way it goes so all you have to do is once you get to this here right here you can look at all this information over in a little more detail if you wish come over here and click this heart that tells t80 that hey that was a great battle sir love to see more of them so would i if you like this replay click the like button it helps other people see it. If you don't, you know what to do. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you want to keep up to date with all this stuff, make sure to click that subscription button. And if you want instant notification, click the notification bell, changing it from occasional always. With that being said, I also have a Discord. The Discord link is also down in the description. Come over and join us. If you want to, got a replay that you want uh, to get... Um, showcase, go ahead, load it up to wattreplays.eu or wattrecords.com and then share the link and the watt replays on my Discord. Now also, if you are interested in watching live streams of me play World of Tanks and many other games that I do, go ahead, follow me up on Twitter. I My schedule is evolving as we go. It's not a set down anything yet current. It's still a work in progress, but I promise you, I put on a show that's, in my opinion, sometimes worth watching and sometimes always worth laughing at. With that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything I have to say today. And I do actually hope you really enjoyed this video. But I'm going to get out of here. And with that saying that, I'll see you on the battlefield.